So I slept on the idea of putting the bow eye in and I'm going to go for it. Decided I'm just going to send it. So I'm going to drill through here on the inside. I'll have to make something that V's out of wood or hopefully plastic or composite to soften the uh, compression against the inside of the fiberglass. I'll show you that when I get to it. But for now, let's drill a hole. Also, you can see this has just one spike. It used to have two. But I took a grinder and took that off because I don't think I need two additional holes in the bow. Just one little hole here, which I'll seal up, will be enough to keep it from spinning. So let's do it. So to accommodate for the bolt, uh, the eye, bow eye bolt or threaded rod that's too short, I went and bought the stainless steel 6 inch carriage bolt. So I'm going to grind the top of this off and you see I have the nut on here so that I can unthread it because sometimes you end up with burrs over here that make it hard to get a, a, a nut on and I'm going to use this threaded bar to get inside. Now regarding the placement of this spike that's going to keep this bow eye from twisting, I'm going to put that on the top because the way I see it, pressure will be pushing down normally on the boat when I'm using the bow eye. So I'd rather flat part here have the pressure than drive that any further than need be. So I'm going to drill a second hole for this and I'll close it up with some silicone. So here's what we're going to use for a washer on the inside. See the curved of the curvedness of that? That's to evenly displace the weight against the inside of the boat as opposed to just having two edges of a washer push in really hard. I don't think it would take long for it to crack the fiberglass if I did that. But this piece of aluminum should serve two purposes. The first one to distribute the force of the bow eye the second one is it's aluminum so it shouldn't corrode and rust like steel wood or anything besides aluminum or stainless okay on the boat there are four of these stainless washers they have a rubber washer inside of them on the inside between the washer and the boat and there's 5200 inside of there. Uh, I drilled four holes through the hull uh, when attaching some of the fiberglass that was delaminating on the two seats that the people sit on. And I was going to use this L-shaped aluminum to put some runners on the boat so that it would track straight, or at least that's what I thought. But it turns out that these are at a bit of an angle these holes are not even and in order to make it in order to mount this straight I'd have to get wider aluminum and the more I looked at the boat the more I don't want to stick something on the bottom of it so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna clean up this 5200 and go around it with some more JB weld while I'm JB welding everything <laughs> essentially because it's an easy two-part epoxy that's cheap and uh, seems to be successful for some people. I know that a lot of people cringe when, when they hear JB Weld on a boat, but like I said. You guys silly? I'm still gonna send it. <laughs>